More specifics on all three of these tornadoes. We were talking about mm. two yesterday, but it's incredible what they can find National Weather Service when they go out on the ground. And they're still going to be on the ground, so don't be surprised if that number goes up before okay. the week is over. But yes, three confirmed tornadoes, as we mentioned uh, so far, two of those in Johnson County. So let's give you the specifics on those uh, storms. They had to one near Egan and EF2. That was the strongest one. Winds uh, 112 miles per hour. The path link 9.7 miles. So it was on the uh, ground for a while, and you see the uh, width there, 150 yards. So you see that uh, near uh, Egan there, just uh, west of I-35 uh, W. Then we have the uh, next one in Johnson County as well. It was an EF zero 80 mile per hour winds. The uh, link there 1.6 miles and uh, the path with 75 yards. You see that just uh, north of uh, King there along a highway 67 just uh, north of there over toward Alvarado where they had uh, some damage there I know as well. And then the Blue Ridge one up in Collin County. It was rated an EF one with those maximum winds 100 miles per hour. You see less than a half a mile. It was on the uh, ground the uh, path with there 188 yards and you see that uh, just west of a uh, Texas Highway uh, 78 there. So yes, that's uh, three so far. We'll uh, have more information, of course, maybe later today, but certainly as we uh, go through the week and we'll talk more about our cooler temperatures for the rest of the week and what's in store for the weekend as well. But now let's get over to Tashara.